And here we go. Well, Clubhouse Chatter continues. Here is Norm Ordez. The ride continues. And so our next guest is the most interesting man in baseball. And that would be the one and only Lenny Randall. Lenny, how's it going? How's it going, Lenny? Hello. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ragazzi. Giovane, vecchi, anche senza testa. So, Lenny. <laughs> that means hello, everybody, even if you don't have a head. Hello. All right. So, where are you at, Lenny? I'm in Sardinia, in Porta Torres, Italy. Porta Torres is a beautiful little city growing baseball in uh, Sardinia. It's an island, but outside of Rome, right by the boot, right by the toe. So you get on your little Google Maps, everybody. Come on, Google the little city. Sardinia is an island. Only Johnny Depp could buy this island. Only Johnny Depp, huh? Yeah. It's that you mean kind of you place. mean you mean it's Trump? The opposite of Sicily. You mean Trump can't no, buy I it? I said Johnny Depp. Trump, Trump's using everybody else's money. Johnny Depp's using his own money. Uh -huh. That's the difference. All right. So what are you doing? Are he doesn't you, borrow. You got a, you got a, you we got, got a, a camp. Nice. How many kids yeah, you got? We got a camp. We got 150 kids. We went to the University of Messina and uh, they're going to start giving out scholarships to go to that school for music, biomedicine and sports management and chef uh, culinary. Mm -hmm. And the University of Messina is going to build two new stadiums and two new hotels and become a new central Major League Baseball, International Baseball compound. Nice. Also, Sardinia will be a partner with uh, Sicily, Catania, and Bontatoris. We're going to open up a new academy, uh, Lenny Randall Academy in Bontatoris. It's a school that will be converted into training five-year-old little Dimaggios and Mike Piazza and little Norms, and little Roy Caponettles, and, and little bitty Joe Torres, and little bitty Billy Martins and a lot of Griffies. <laughs> nice. So how how is it accepted? Are they, I mean, are they eating it up? Well, it's kind of weird. I post so that you could see it. Antonio Police and uh, Pelosa and uh, Nick Poop are posting. And we're, we're coaching, pitching, filming. <laughs> right. So, and we have a writer that came out. Like, this guy's like um, Vic Dick Vitale of sports writing or like... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date myself here, like Finnegan of uh, Seattle Times and okay. you know, one of the noted uh, ESPN or USA Today writers, like Peter Goldenbeck kind of guy. Right. He's doing a story, and I'll send it to you, on the youth from five years old learning to pitch with perfect mechanics like Kershaw nice. and attitude, teaching self-esteem to like 20. So we got from five to 20 doing different sessions at the school in live school PE classes. So there was, there's been a couple of photos of this cute little guy, the little guy with glasses, Eduardo. like five years old. Yeah, that's Eduardo. He is the cockiest, most confident captain in the camp. Let me tell you a story, Norm. We're running. I said, okay, Nick, uh, Antonio, we're going to take three laps around or whenever Eduardo gets tired. So I said, he's the leader. He took off. He took off, man. I'm talking around this, you know, this field, the baseball field. And all the other kids were pissed because he was leaving them. And they went, okay, one lap. And he goes, no, let's do it again. And they start going some languages I never heard. <laughs> Slow down, you little piss hat. And he's going, no, I'm the captain. We got to keep running. I said, oh, my God. A little Girardi, a little Joe Torrey, and a little bit of Mike Sosha. <laughs> he took over, and they finally just tackled him. <laughs> <laughs> These are like 15 to 20-year-old kids are going, who is this guy? Is he a rabbit? <laughs> he's got a lot of swag. He's, a, he's our little captain. <laughs> so when you see when you see passion in, in, in a, you know, a kid like that, how does that make you feel? I mean, that's what it's that's what it's all about. You know, it's all about building that Norm, passion. Eduardo is a clone Mike Trout. Okay? <laughs> Just a little bigger. <laughs> when you see that kind of passion, you want to train him every day. Right. When a kid beats you to the park, either he's there an hour or four hours earlier or two hours earlier, 
you can't buy that. You can't bottle it. Right. Yeah, that we, is. We got guys that we got a couple of guys that they won't put a helmet on because they just got a haircut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. that kind of passion is hard to find. It 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 really is, and um, that is one of the reasons why I'm coming. You know, I'm coaching my nephew's team this this season because of that. You know, I want to mm-hmm. build that passion. I want to help build that passion, and it's hard. I mean, there's so you know, especially for American kids, there's so much more to do you know you got skateboarding you got video games you know i know it's different over there in italy and and whatnot no it's Norm, not whenever you call me we've been trying to set up a little camp there I told you to give me a call it our call our camps are now called the camps of the century because we laugh and joke while we get while we're doing 400 push-ups we laugh and joke while our hands bleeding doing 180 swings. We laugh while we're doing space stealing and how to steal a base and how to pick up a sign and how to get catch a ball off the wall and throw a guy out on one hop. And we're laughing all the way to the <laughs> dugout. And that is that is what it's all about right there, having fun. That's right. That's it. You got to make it fun. You know, and you have... make it fun. I, I told a kid, if you can throw me a, a one hopper from center field, I'm buying you Snickers and gummy bears for life. And he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the motivation was, but he did it. Okay. <laughs> so how long how long are you over there for? I'm gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna go and come back. The Thunza Airlines is sponsoring our trip. It's like five forty eight round trip. So if you got a group that wanna come over five forty eight round trip. The rooms are like 300 bucks a, a month. <laughs> so what, what's not to love? And you're right on the Mediterranean Sea. So I'm either I'm stupid or I'm Forrest Gump's cousin. I, I think you got Brian's attention. I think Brian is like, hey, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, just 10 guys because I don't want him to give me a stroke. Right. So, Brian, just 10 guys that have the passion want to come over and we'll make it fun. Baseball or no baseball, we'll make it fun. We went to a restaurant tonight. And a pizzeria and a gelateria, and the guy Mario is the head head of the uh, uh, boxing world. He's a boxer slash baseball player slash soccer player. He he brought Leroy, Leroy uh, Jones. Mm-hmm. His name is Calzoni. So we're eating in his restaurant. His dad's Mario, and we're talking about his daughter wants to play softball, and she's the bartender. Okay, so how cool is that? We got a converted bartender former boxer that want to play softball as bad as baseball because they just want to be involved. That's pretty cool. Is that cool? That is, that is really so cool. Awesome. And, and it wasn't the beer that was recruiting it. It was just a natural buzz for the sport. So what did you, what did you have for dinner? Today we had um, a combination of, uh, okay, they wanted me to eat some horse meat. I've never eaten horse. Okay. I know I could get a recipe eating horse. It's a cavallo. I just went to the old traditional, uh, you know, the old uh, chicken burger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did a chicken burger. I don't come over here to eat. I came over to train. <laughs> Brian can come over here and have five course meal. I don't care. He'll leave 400 pounds when he leaves here. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, my question for you is, 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 do you ever sleep? You know, I was, I know you, there's like, there's like an eight or nine hour difference or something like that, like 10 hour difference. So it's, what, 11 o'clock here? So what time is it there? It's uh, 8, 12, and we're going to go to a pizzeria and an ice cream parlor and have ginseng with cappuccino in it. And so, and, that and that's is, what keeps me going. That is what they call Lenny over there is cappuccino. <laughs> and so, no, I'm up at like I'm up at like 10 or 11 o'clock, you know, and I, I noticed that you're still online. You know, and I'm like, golly, man, this guy doesn't sleep. You know? No, I don't. I, and I, so I'll sleep when I die, Norm. When I die, I'm gonna have a little I schedule a little ATM above the grave and you guys can take four hundred bucks a day, that's all, that's the limit. And then read a schedule. <laughs> any game, any day of the season and just go to a game on me. Where Swipe. where does your passion come from? You're so passionate about God, baseball. The Pope. And my family, my dad and uh, cousins and uncles and God, listen, bro, I played for Ted freaking Williams. It was a gift, a great thing. Willie Mays, Bill Calvaretta, Ed Cranepool, Joe Torrey, Billy Martin, 
I mean, come on. Uh, what, Maury Wills? Come on. How, how does it get you? I can keep going, and you'll probably have a stroke. <laughs> Nelly Fox? I used to be honored that he would spit tobacco on my shoes. I'm going, keep it going. He even spit on the freaking president of the United States, Richard Nixon, and, and George and Ford. So how, how does it get any better than that? You know. George, why do you think George Bush bought a team? Politics is boring. That, that's <laughs> Come right. On, baseball. That's right. <laughs> You know, you had me at Kyle. I mean, I you had me at Joe Torre. I mean, the, uh, a ton. You know, Ted Williams. You know, playing for Ted Williams, that must have been pretty cool. You know, one of the all-time oh, greatest. I mean, the legend in baseball. You know, um, and there are so many. There's so many others. You know, you you have played with. You know, Duffy Dyer and yeah, Duffy. Uh, I teach Ted Williams method of hitting. I teach Joe uh, Morgan and and, and uh, Maury Will's style of bunting. I teach Lou Brock style of base stealing. I teach Ricky Henderson attitude of uh, swagger. <laughs> <laughs> I take I take a little bit from everybody that I played with, including Thurman Munson and and um, Reggie Jackson and Nevels and Steinbrenner. Uh, I mean, what's not the like when you're around those kind of people? You know, what's, what's not the like when Bobby Valentine's calls you from Japan and I'm over here and he goes, Lenny, are you Italian now or what? And I go, no, are you Japanese or what? <laughs> and he goes, we're global, baby. We're global. <laughs> you know, you said it's it at blessing. you. It, it, exactly. You said it at the beginning. You are blessed. You know, Period. I mean, you know, you look at it, you know, I look at, you know, I look at what I've done with Clubhouse Chatter and it's nothing you know, compared to what you've done, but I look at the names that I've had and I'm like, God, man, I mean, here I am. I'm a huge baseball fan, you know, and I'm talking to Lenny Randall, you know, Lenny Randall, who is the most interesting man in baseball, who is, you know, you're, I, I don't want to say that you're larger than life, but I mean, you live life, you know, and Storm, I'm trying to let little kids take my eyes and see what I've seen and do what I've done. Take my legs and do what I've done and walk my walk and walk where I've been. I've been to 31 freaking countries. I've got much better than that. I got a son that went, is in the NFL. Right. Bradley, I mean, how, what, what, what is the stuff? I got a nephew, Tyus Edney, and a cousin, Marcus Johnson, playing NBA. I got Kobe Bryant calling me going, when do I come over with you and, and Tyus Edney, assistant head coach at UCLA? When are we coming over? I'm reading all this stuff. I'm like, okay, Michael Jordan, I don't have time for you. I'm dealing with them. Mike Tyson's going, book me, baby. Stallone's going, can I get in? Can I get in? <laughs> Hello? TV Wonder's going, can I do a concert? Can I cause a I had to reject Jenna Pelotes because she's showing too much TNA. How much better does it get, bro? Wow. I, it it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, you know, any time when you got Stallone calling you up, you know, nah, you know, that's all. That's all awesome. He's just a guy, though. It's Ex not, exactly. He, he, he gets it. He's just a guy. Got a break and gets the hardcore. Uh, not, no silver spoon life. You know when but I that, 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 yeah when I first polite. went to work in baseball back in in uh, well it was 2006 when I. Um, was hired as a clubhouse manager in Lancaster, California for the Lancaster Jethawks. Brett Butler was our manager. And I remember talking to Brett Butler. Yeah, Brett Butler, yeah. I remember talking to Bugsy yeah. for the very first time, you know, and I told Bugsy on how, you know, mm. how big I grew up a fan of his, you know, watching. And he gave me, yeah. he gave me his rules right off the bat. He was rule number one. He goes, I'm no different than you are, you know, except for right. maybe there my bank go. account. You know, and the fact that I played Major League Baseball, he goes, but I'm I'm another guy. I put on my pants yep. the same way you put your pants on in the morning. I had to remind him, of course, I don't wear pants. I wear shorts all the time. But nevertheless, you know, I got I got mm -hmm. the lesson. And, you know, and that's what I get from you. You know, you're you're Lenny Randall. You know, you're right. Lenny, you're Lenny Randall. You know, you're just, you know, former major leaguer, Let former baseball player. Real quick. Greg Hardy. Go ahead. 
You there? The guy that, that played uh, in Stallone. Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. here. They played in the movie with Stallone recently. Uh, that they always beats up people. Uh, he's he's from London and he's the karate guy and it's always a lot of drama in his movies. I can't think of his right now. Right now. Okay. But he, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, the the uh, come on, help me, Brian. You're the movie buff. Come on, help me. Uh, I'm trying. Like Royale, he's uh, you know, he's bald head and he's got uh, karate and he kicks. He's, uh, he's always intense, and he's he has a British accent. He's not, he, you know, like Royal Casino kind of guy. Oh man, like James Bond, kind of like a James Bond kind. Of right. Guy. Not Claude Van Damme, but kind of like that. What's his name? Come on, guys. Oh, anyway, man. he friended me. He friended me and wants me to come to London with Batali, the boxing king of Germany. So he goes, Lenny, who is the guy named Thor? I'm going Thor, Thor, the blonde haired guy with the always beating up. Yeah. Uh, what is it? American heroes guy. What's the name? Come on, guys. Syndergaard. That guy. They all want to be friends with me. And I'm going, let me do a background check first. Because <laughs> 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 I, uh, why do you want to be my friend? I got enough friends already. Right. And they go, we want to play softball. and We want to golf with you. I'm going, oh, I told him I play like Charles Barkley. I think that's why we want to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played in a softball uh, tournament back in, it was 06, and uh, it was a celebrity golf turn, uh, softball tournament. I don't know why. I was just a clubhouse manager, but I they needed another guy. And so I played on the same team with Michael Dudikoff, if you remember American Ninja. Yeah. And I remember, I, I, yeah, I remember yeah. asking yeah. him, I remember asking him, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, so is it true that, you know, you're the American Ninja, you got all these, you know, black belts, and he looked at me and he's like, I don't have any black belts, man. <laughs> you know, he just, I just. It's all Hollywood, baby. Exactly. You know, he just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't mean the name drop, but Samuel L. Jackson called me and goes, oh, okay, how come you don't call me anymore? Because I asked him to do the part that Jim Brewer's doing, to do the narration. Right. So he goes, no. And I go, well, why? Because you beat me in basketball? Because he cheats. I go, I let you beat me in basketball so that you could do the narration. But we don't have to be friends anymore. We'll just golf. <laughs> we won't play basketball because he cheats. He's like, uh, if you don't show blood, it ain't a foul. <laughs> that is what do you ever Do you ever sit back and just look at your life and you're like, you know, what a ride. I mean, what a ride that you've had. You've had this this life, you know, you played in the major leagues, you played in Italy, you know, you've been a comedian, you have sang, you know, been a singer. You know, do you ever just sit back and just like, holy crap, what a life? No, I, I got 30 more co one more countries to visit before I'm done. I got to train little Ichiro. I got to train little David Beckham. I got to train little Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I, I gotta train the real real listen guys straight out of Compton and straight out of Germany <laughs> right there's a catcher that's like a Mike Piaz in Germany and there's a catcher in Messina named La Dulce and we're, we're gonna bring him over to uh, Adelphia University on a scholarship wow so these kids that want to leave their countries and play in America we're gonna give them scholarships to play in America and then the Amer and the Italian kids and the German kids and the Swiss kids kids and the Holland kids are going to come and play in America and then we're going to bring all the Americans over here to play them like a, <laughs> a European cup right so I'll, I'll sleep when I die and you can narrate it there, <laughs> there you go there you go so yeah baseball in uh, you know baseball is growing so so much around the world you know I, 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 I listen to you talk about you know kid in Germany you know kid in Italy and that, that's got to be pretty cool to be a part of. Bro, I got to tell you, inside scoop. Last night, I saw a kid in Iran that was 110, and he plays tennis and cricket. Go figure. Hmm. They want to feel. They want to feel in Iran. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And why they want to feel. What's, okay. what's the best part? What's the best part of doing what you're doing? What do you... You know, I know you're not. Don't think about it. Just do it. I'm not sitting around thinking, crossing fingers, stay in shape, have fun. Heck, we are going to die. We already know that. Right. So make it fun. Go out your way. Do it till you can't walk. Guys, you got to laugh 10 times a day. You got to love your family and friends, have fun with them. 
Tomorrow's not promised to you. That is true. Today is your last day on earth. After this show, you don't even know if you're going to make it home. So make it home and kiss your wife and kids and dog and hug the cat. I have a guinea pig. I'll kiss the guinea pig. <laughs> Are you still there? Did we lose you? I think we lost him. Now I think we did lose him. Lenny Randall, what an interesting guest. That guy is full of, uh, wow, it's like a a train that just hits you. You're just not sure what came out and uh, hit you from the uh, the side. But, wow, hopefully get him back on. He was, he's... Okay, I'm now in um, <laughs> Sassity. All right. So... Sassity. So we are we, we are talking to Lenny Randall <laughs> via Facebook Messenger. So this is a first for us in in doing this. So it's a little bit different. So so live live life like it's your it's your last day on earth. You still with us? I guess not. All right. <laughs> so Lenny Randall, we had just dropped. Len, Lenny was great. I mean, Lenny, even in that short time we had him, 20 minutes, 21 minutes, the guy, he has a lot to say. He, he does. I, yeah, I, I'm just kind of speechless and just. Don't know what hit you us. You know, it's rapid fire. But it's awesome. You know, it's, it is. it's awesome to see somebody um, live life like that. Doing some great stuff um, you know, and just uh, making the most of uh, what he does and his success, too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Good stuff. So let's try to connect again. And try Okay. Lenny Randall trying to get him um, in Sicily right now. So here we go. Fingers crossed. What will he say when he answers? It's time to cut off. I'm in Sassari on a boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll keep going as long as, well, a few more minutes here. Yeah, I'm here. So, so basically, so live life like it's your last day. It's your last day, man. It's it. This is it. Make no mistake about this is it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. I think I think we've got our you know the song. I I don't actually. Oh come on, Brian! You got look it up. This is it. Make no mistake about this. Who, is it? Who was it? Who sang that? Who, 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 uh, that's a trivia question. Whoever gets that song calls you right now. I'm mailing you an autographed baseball and a photo. Really? From Italy. Hello. It's, it's Kenny Loggins. You know that. Yes. Uh, hey, I, hey, I'm not saying that one of your <laughs> listeners got to call it in. But, of course, you only got 5,000 listeners. We got a problem. Well, we do. And you're, you're on our only phone line, too. That is, that is oh, okay. true. That is true. So, hey. So okay. okay, they got a week. They got a week. <laughs> email. You can email me at normbo18 at gmail.com. And Lenny Randall sang a clip from a song. Who was it? Is the question. Yeah. My phone is blowing up right now. Two different people just texted me with the answer. There you go. There you go. That's how it starts. And and those two people are probably somewhere in Rome listening. So hey, so is that is that boat? Is that a glass bottom boat you're on? I don't know. I'm not looking, bro. I don't look at the mermaids. I'm not looking. I'm just floating right now. <laughs> Wow. I'm not counting the dolphins, pal. I am not counting dolphins. I'm looking straight ahead. I'm pretending I'm in Disneyland. Right. <laughs> that is If funny. I go down, it was nice talking. If your bubbles going, blah, blah, blah. he went out happy. <laughs> uh, how much longer are you going to be over there for? I come back and go every two to three weeks. Wow. I, got, I call it andada return. Okay. Go to two or three weeks, I just go and come back. Get a little break, take my family where I'm out, and then I'll come back. Nice. Nice. What what is um what's the best part about doing what you're doing? Well, every fifteenth of the month we're changing about four thousand lives. So I don't know how it gets any better than that. That's slash uh Raven slash uh 
Michigan State, you know the quote is, yep. who's got it better than us? <laughs> <laughs> if they call in and know who that is, <laughs> they get a trip to Vegas, okay? I'm generous right now. Okay, come on. A trip? Of course, they get to walk there. They get to walk there to Vegas. <laughs> on me. I'll provide the water. <laughs> All right. Once again, Mr. Lenny Randall, always entertaining. Just, you know, he is the most interesting man in baseball, without a doubt. And, Lenny, tell us what you're doing in Sicily one more time. I'm in Sicily training 400 kids. I'm at the University of Messina right on the Mediterranean, giving scholarships away to at least. Uh, right now we got eligible 20 kids. They want to come to Adelphi University. They want to come to St. John's. They want to come to UCLA. They want to University of Portland. They want to go to um, Arizona State and UNLV. And these students are studying medicine and sports management and biology and medical science. And they want a piece of America, and they want their families to enjoy the, the good life of coming to Europe and America and America to Europe. We need at least 10 people from Portland to like, travel. Hello, oh, Portland. Man. Wake up. Hello, Portland. Lenny, it's always a pleasure, and uh, you know, thanks for thanks for coming on the show again. And hey, give Eduardo a high five for us. No, I'm sitting on Eduardo on a box. He's gonna take over your radio show. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We'll 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 listen to him. The ratings will go through the roof. Oh, me. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. So, Lenny, God hey, bless you. Thank you for coming on. All right. All right, take man. Care, have folks. a good one. Ciao, arrivederci. All right, see you later. See you later. Follow the doctor. All right, once again, Mr. Lenny Randall. That was the most interesting awesome. man in baseball. He was impressive. <laughs> Big time. I am, uh, <laughs> I'm un, I don't know what to say. <laughs> the guy is he's, he's a whirlwind. He, oh my he, gosh. He, he, <laughs> Entertaining is an understatement with uh, Sir Lenny Randall. So we are, we will post this. Um, you know, it, it's kind of funny because, you know, when I do a show, you know, I always, there's always a hope that it goes viral. Now, I got to be totally honest with you. because I, I enjoy doing this. This is a hobby of mine. You know, Brian, you know, is gracious enough to open up his studio, you know, for for Clubhouse Chatter, and and we we do the show. Um, you know, we are not getting rich off this <laughs> at all, which isn't the goal. You know, the goal is to bring the passion of baseball to the fans, and I think we delivered on that 110 percent today with Lenny Randall and Chop and Jim Masur. Great stuff. I mean, great stuff. You know, Chop up there in Portland and and Lenny Randall. Holy crap, my head hurts from Lenny. But always a pleasure. Always telling it like it is. And um, you know, I love to hear stories of the little five year old Eduardo's. You know, developing a passion for the game of baseball. You know, baseball is not an American game. Um. You know, it is it is a world worldly game. And, you know, it's about time that we, you know, we share it. We share it with these other countries. You know, it's exciting to see what Israel is doing and Italy is doing. And, you know, China, we had Ray Chang on for a while, you know, and he thinks that China will be a player on the world baseball um, scene here in the next 10 years. And so... You know, help us, help us uh, take baseball around the world. You know, I've I've picked up, you know, views on our Major League Baseball blog site. You know, from from uh, Ireland and Brazil. You know, this last week, and that's always cool. You know, and if you you know if you follow us on Major League Baseball um, dot com, you know, leave us leave me a message and. You know, shoot me an email, normbo18 at gmail.com. You know, we'd love to get a shirt out to you somehow. And so, with that said, you know, we are sponsored by baseballisms.com. If you like the hat I am wearing today, check it out, baseballisms.com. Also sponsored by 
baseballdudes.com chris gazelle up there in vancouver washington to be the best you must train like the best mitch canham skipper mitch canham based by pros sports education up there in washington check them out his dad mark canham mdm designs does our shirts and hoodies for us if you want to order a couple you know shoot me a message and we'll uh we'll get them to you we stream live all the time yamhilltoday.com and once again we are always looking for sponsors and you know your comments uh, shoot me a message normbo18 at gmail.com for those periscopers you know thanks for watching and uh we're on twitter clubhouse chatter 1t facebook youtube itunes i'm norm that's producer brian hey we love baseball well i love baseball i think brian loves baseball too Baseball is more of a sports guy, complete sports guy than I am, but, you know, I don't know. Baseball is probably my number one, though. I'm, I'm kind of developing into a closet Portland Timbers fan. Shh. Well, soccer's not a sport, so we're okay. Once again, uh, that is Brian. <laughs> I'm Norm. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week.